So with Konami releasing the new Legendary Collection in April of this year, and them announcing that there's going to be one Quarter Century promo card in every display, and recently we found out that Quarter Century just means that it's a Starlight Rare with a Quarter Century stamp in the flavor text box, the question has to be asked, how will this new so-called rarity affect the Starlight Rares as well as the rest of the Yu-Gi-Oh market? So let's get into it. All right, so some overview on this rarity. First of all, like I said earlier, a quarter century rare card is pretty much just a starlight rare with a quarter century stamp in the flavor text box. This was confirmed by the OCG as the new quarter century set just debuted. Now the whole flavor text box thing was used twice in the TCG. First, we have the 10,000 dragon with 10,000 in the text box. And then there's the Adidas Dark Magician, which had the Adidas logo embedded into the text box as well. Other than that though, on the TCG side, we did not get anything else that had this feature. However, on the OCG side, they got a very similar release in 2018 called the 20th Anniversary Secret Rares. And if you haven't been following the OCG, the cards in this mini subset are extremely expensive. This set has 212 cards and I don't think a single card is under $30. So that just shows you just how popular it was and how collectible it is. Now for the cards themselves, the 20th anniversary secret rares were pretty much starlight rares, but with 20th anniversary stamp in the text box. And the only other difference was that the title of the card was embossed in red instead of the regular rainbow foil that we see on starlights today. The most interesting thing about that 2018 release, this is where Starlight Rares debuted. So that rarity was actually introduced in Cybernetic Horizons on April 14th, 2018. And we did not see Starlights ever before then. Not in the OCG, nor did we ever see it in the TCG. In fact, we only got our first Starlight Rare in July of 2019. And that is kind of crazy, right? Like you look back and you're like, I can't believe it's only been like three years since Starlight Rares have been introduced. It feels like it's been forever ago. But that's pretty much the overview. Now let's get into what I believe will be the effect of these promo cards being released in Starlight Rare in the TCG and how it will affect the market. Now the 20th anniversary secret rares were extremely well received. I mean, I think it was pretty much so well received that the TCG decided to hop on with the quarter century rare because the thing is, is that this is not even a quarter century celebration for the TCG. Like LOB came out in 2002, right? So it should have been last year that we celebrated 20th anniversary and then in four years from now we'd be celebrating 25th but konami decided to jump on this hype train and introduce their own quarter century rares in the english language and with starlight rares in the tcg they have been limited to around five cards per set with very few exceptions and their pull rates are pretty much one per case you can always look at a starlight rare and know that oh this thing has at least you know like at least 50 dollar value right like it will never go below that because it's just so damn hard Hard to pull so that insane pull rate that is attached to starlight rares in the tcg will always give them this sort of magisterial place in your collection but i don't think that that will be the case any longer after quarter century rares are released so now i'm gonna give you guys my opinion on what will happen to the market and these starlight rares once the quarter century rares start flooding in all right so so far we've had about 35 quarter century rares be announced we've had the six cards from legendary collection all having a variant of quarter century rare and recently announced is the new battle set which has about 25 starlight rares i mean quarter century rares <laughs> This does not even include what will come in the LOB boxes, right? Like I highly suspect that there will be Starlight Rare versions. I mean, quarter century rare versions of some iconic LOB cards in those booster boxes. And normally that is fine. In my opinion, I think having reprints is a great thing for the hobby. However, when you create, for example, in the legendary collection, one per display, you're talking about like these cards having pretty much no value. Like at most we're talking 10 to $15, if not, you know, like four to five. These things are going to get ripped open to hell and back. And I just don't see how those original Starlight Rares will keep their notoriety, their novelty, and their prestige, if that makes sense. I mean, if everybody has these cards in Starlight Rare in their collection, it just dilutes that rarity so much. And I think that definitely happened with Ghost Rares, for example. Like when they released Haunted Mine, I remember being so grossed out by that. I was like, like, why are you doing that where it's guaranteed in the set? You're just killing that 
that ghost share aspect because you know back in the day if you ever pulled up a binder and you saw ghost shares you know that this is one out of 12 boxes right with haunted mine you're starting to see a lot more ghost shares in binders when it was a little bit more exclusive and a little bit more prestige the same thing happened with secret rares you know like back in the day secret rares meant something now it pretty much means you have a limited edition stamp on your card i think the only rarity that actually kept any sort of prestige to it and exclusivity was the ultimate rare and even that was super diluted it's not even in core sets anymore and we only have like ots like that substandard abomination called the ultimate rare i actually thought starlight rares were some of the best things that konami has done since ghost rares since they were stuck in that lull period where there was really no rarity at all no chase at all in their sets and now they're kind of setting fire to it by bringing in these promos at starlight rares and pretty much everybody having starlight rares and really diluting you know that effect seeing that rarity in the binder just used to give a different feeling than what i think it will give later on in the future it's just not going to be the same now i'm all about everybody being able to get in on something i just think that there is other ways and better ways to go about it for example i would have loved for them to create a new rarity instead of just recycling the starlight rare and diluting that and absolutely like killing it in my opinion like for example i'll give you the perfect example for this the new battle set is going to be introducing zeus again as a quarter century rare well we have a starlight rare of that the only difference is the text box where you can barely see it unless you shine a light on it you pretty much have two starlight rares of zeus you're basically reprinting this card and konami would be like why why would you choose that you want to make vintage cards quarter century cool i'm totally for that i saw for example that they're introducing dark arm dragon as a quarter century rare right i'm all for that i think that that's a great pick because you know that card is out of the meta nobody's spending a lot of money on the starlight rare unless they want something historic right so this makes sense to me putting something like zeus as a quarter century rare and then reprinting that is basically like setting fire to the original starlight rare because like this is basically the exact same thing thing you just have more features into it which is the 25th stamp right i don't know to me it's like why would you do something like that i would have loved for them to keep it a little bit more exclusive like the whole rarity itself and if they're not willing to do that at least keep it original cards like back in the day vintage iconic cards instead of reprinting modern cards and giving them a starlight rare when they already had one i can just see this being a disaster for any zeus owner and i feel like they could have done a much better job with this now do i think that this will tank every starlight rare i don't think so no but i do think for example if they were to re-release ip mascarena as a star i mean quarter century rare it would definitely hurt the original ip i mean there's no question about it i don't know how somebody can say that they it wouldn't because it's literally the exact same rarity with just a small difference in the text box like it, it is so obvious that it's going to hurt it like even though i'm still against diluting a certain rarity especially when it has so much class and so much prestige to it but if if you're going to do it at least don't do it with like starlight rares that we've already got on certain cards right like it just makes no sense if they were to re-release for example quarter century exodia pieces pretty much say goodbye to the batch value because it's pretty much going to be the exact same thing with less features on it right like it just doesn't make sense man i'm not a fan and i wish they would have chosen better man i hate when they do this they have such a good thing going for them starlight rares were such a huge aspect in bringing a lot of people back into the game bringing a lot of vintage collectors into collecting modern cards and then they're setting fire to it like this it just is bad taste in my opinion they could have done much better but anyway that's pretty much it for my coverage of the quarter century rares stay tuned for friday where i'm going to be giving you guys a tier list of every single card that was announced by konami as a quarter century rare and i'm going to give you guys my expectations on how every single one of these cards will do if you guys like the video hit the like button subscribe if you want to see more collector based content comment down below your thoughts on this i would love to know because this is going to be a heated discussion i know there's a bunch of people that want to say oh everybody should be able to have anything and everything and then there's other people that are going to be hurt by the fact that they own the zeus they paid a lot for zeus and then konami is basically reprinting it again and who knows if they decide to reprint exodia or stardust dragon or black rose again in quarter century people are gonna be livid man because they spent so much money on the original starlight rares and then konami is doing them dirty like this it's gonna be a heated 
discussion. I can't wait for the comments, guys. <laughs> if you want to support me further, I have a Patreon and you can always use the links in the description to pre-order your own legendary collection as well as the new LOB reprints that are coming out in 2023. You can also pick yourself up your own Gardner binder that I make myself. It's made for collectors by a collector. You guys will love it. But that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.